simplify the following expression to its simplest form, considering b equals 2 and c equals 6. Let's start by substituting in our known variables. Rewriting the expression, we have a times b, which is 2, times c, which is 6, minus 4, plus c, which is 6, times a, our unknown variable, minus b, which is 2, times a, our unknown variable, plus 1. Now we need to start simplifying, and let's go ahead and kind of split this in half and work on each half individually. So starting on the left half, we need to go with our innermost set of parentheses first. 6 minus 4 will give us 2, so this will become a times 2 times 2. Then we can use distributive property. 2 times 2 would give us 4, so this becomes a times 4. And then distributive property again, a times 4 would give us 4 Hey, and now we are done with the left side of simplification. Over on the right side, we have two binomials that are being multiplied together, which means we have to use the FOIL method, multiplying our front terms, our outer terms, and then our last terms to find the product. So starting with our front terms, we have a times a, which would give us a squared. Our outer terms, a times a positive one, which would give us a positive a. Then our inner terms, negative two a, and our outer terms, or excuse me, our last terms, negative 2 times 1 would give us a negative 2. Now we can combine our like terms within the parentheses. A positive a, if it exists, there's always one of them. So positive 1a minus 2a would leave us with a negative 1a, or just a negative a. So we can rewrite this as 6 times a squared minus a minus 2. And then we can distribute the 6 into the parentheses. 6 times a squared is 6a squared. 6 times negative a would be minus 6a, and then 6 times negative 2 would give us negative 12. And now we're done simplifying that side, and we can combine these two together. 6a squared minus 6a plus 4a, this is a positive 4a, minus 12. And so our last step is to combine these two like terms. Negative 6a plus 4a would give us a negative 2a. So this is our final result, and that perfectly matches answer choice A, our correct answer.